International humanitarian agencies are defending casualty figures provided by Palestinian officials in Hamas-controlled Gaza after U.S. President Joe Biden cast doubt on the numbers. There's no dispute that Israeli attacks on Gaza have killed many people since Hamas launched their own attack in southern Israel on October 7th. But Biden said on Wednesday he had, quote, no confidence in the number that the Palestinians are using, without saying why. Omar Shakir is the Israel and Palestine Director for Human Rights Watch, one of the humanitarian agencies defending the figures. When we've done independent investigations that verify death tolls for particular strikes, our numbers have always been generally consistent with what the Ministry of Health in Gaza has put out, with no major discrepancies. Gaza's health ministry responded with the release of a 212-page document. It contains the names and identity numbers of around 7,000 Palestinians said to have been killed in the Israeli bombardment of the enclave. Israel has not provided its own estimated death toll. The UN and other international agencies say there can be small discrepancies between the final casualty numbers and those reported by Gaza's authorities in the immediate aftermath of attacks. However, they consider them broadly accurate. Shakira said agencies, including the UN and the U.S. State Department, had previously cited the Gazan Health Ministry's figures. This creates a fog of war, a fog of misinformation, which can provide political cover for more large-scale atrocities to take place. The conversation should focus on how world leaders can stop further mass atrocities and not nitpicking whether a number that's generally proven to be accurate may be a little bit off. Calculating death tolls is a difficult task. Palestinian officials reported difficulty in identifying and counting victims after some attacks because of dismemberment. On Friday, a World Health Organization official said the agency had received estimates that some 1,000 unidentified bodies were still buried under the rubble in Gaza, but did not reveal the source. Those figures were not yet included in death tolls.